Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica and today I have my follow-up to the 50 makeup items that I want to finish in 2019. I had asked if anyone would like to see 50 beauty products that I want to finish in 2019 and apparently some people wanted to see that so that's what this video is. I have on my desk right here a huge pile of stuff because you know hair care, body care, skin care, that stuff tends to take up a little bit more room than small makeup items. So I am just going to go in and start grabbing things, no particular order, and uh, let's get into it. I have a shampoo and conditioner duo. This is the Perfect Hair Focus Rejuvenating Shampoo and Conditioner. They're brand new. Um, I got these for review, I wanna say like a couple months ago, and I just haven't had a chance to try them yet, so I want to try to use these up next year. Let me get those out of the way some some really old stuff here i have quite a bit of bath and body work stuff that i've had for ages and i want to get it used up starting with the body splashes i have a gardenia lily and a rice flower and shea i don't even know if they make those anymore i don't remember um i have so much bath and body works here i have a sheer freesia body cream I'm running out of space here. Um, let's see, I have the Sheer Freesia Shower Gel. Cotton Blossom, which you know they haven't made in years. Cotton Blossom Lotion and a Gardenia Lily Lotion. Let's see, what other Bath & Body Works do I have? Right here, I have a Cotton Blossom Antibacterial Hand Wipe because I just want to get it all out of my collection if I can. Oh, here's another one. Cotton Blossom Body Spray because you know, I only have like six more of those in my collection, and a Gardenia Lily shower gel. Do I have any other Bath & Body Works? Yes, I do, of course I do. Um, a Sea Island Cotton, what is this? A Intensive Moisture Body Butter. So I wanna use that as well. Might as well get some big bulky stuff out of the way. I have the Plant Guru Roll African Black Soap. There is only one bar left in here, it is huge. It's this big guy. I would like to get that used up for 2019. Something that I enjoy using, the Village Naturals Country Breeze Bath Crystals. I love putting soaks in my bathtub. I just absolutely love it. I find it very relaxing. All right, let me move this big pile of stuff over here. Um, I have the Johnson Shea and Cocoa Butter Body Wash. Yes, this is technically a baby kind of body wash, but I use it. It is... It's so gentle on my skin, especially in the winter time, and it smells amazing. I don't like the, like, the pink one. I don't like that one at all. Um, I've used that on my kids, and eh, I don't really like it. But the Shea and Cocoa Butter, it smells just so warm and delicious, and it's so gentle. If you have sensitive skin or you're really dry in the winter, it is amazing. All right, moving on, more body stuff. The Heel to Toe Spa Pedicure Peppermint Sloughing Foot Lotion. This, I don't know if anybody is... Um, has ever used something like this. It goes on like a lotion, but it's designed to actually roll the dead skin off of your feet. And um, so it, like you rub it on, rub it on, rub it on. It starts to peel up as it grabs like the dead skin on your feet and it just sloughs it right off. It's kind of cool. It is. It's really kind of cool. I like that stuff. Oh, look more uh, Bath and Body Works. The Sea Island Cotton Creamy Body Wash. I have one of those. That Oh, no, there's another one. I was going to say that was it. And I have like a mini cotton blossom lotion. Is that it? Is, is that all of, I think that's all the Bath and Body Works that I am putting in this particular little thing here. I have a Kenra Platinum Color Charge Mask. This is like a treatment hair mask for colored hair. And um, I, I do color my hair because my natural color is actually a lot lighter than what I have it right now. And it's like that mouse brown and I just, I don't like it. Um, the Live Love Do Aqua Do, it's a lotion, and I have the matching body spray. These are technically men's products, but my husband doesn't use stuff like that, so 
I do, and I actually enjoy it. Um, let's see, I have the Latin Oil Chia Oil Hair Treatment. This stuff, I love it. It, it smells amazing. It, it's kind of got like a fruity smell to it, but not like a fruit that I'm used to, but it smells really good. Um, I have a Shea Moisture Curl and Style Milk. Haven't used that yet, so I'm looking forward to using it. Um, gee, I have so much stuff here. Another Shea Moisture. This is the Manuka Honey and Yogurt Hydrate Repair Protein Power Treatment. Got that one. Um, trying to see if I have any other hair care here. My pile is, is dwindling, but I still have plenty. Um, let's get some of these perfume samples out of the way. I have three samples. I have Dior Miss Dior. I have Reserve Clean. And let's see, Dolce & Gabbana, Dolce. So I have those perfume samples. Um, I have an Avon Faraway Purse Spray. I have a Hannah More Him. Then again, obviously, men's fragrance. I wear it since my husband doesn't like anything that has like strong smells. That's just that's just the way he is. But that's okay. I'll wear it. Um, I have Soul by Curve that I want to finish up. Um, let's see. Last perfume, I think. This is from Luxury Scent Box. Which one did I put in here? I don't remember which one, and it won't come out. I don't know if it's Valentina. Actually, you know what I think this is? Is Kelly and Jones Notes of Pinot Grigio. That's what this one is. Because I did not put Valentina in here. Um, all right, the, the last bunch here, I think, is all skincare. I have an Avon Bay and U Eucalyptus Refreshing Hydrating Mask. I have a Proactive Refining Mask. I have a Skinzyme Mask. This is from Jan Marini. I really love that company. Um, I have another Jan Marini product here. This is the Transformation Face Cream. These are all brand new. Um, I have a Neostrata Intensive Eye Therapy. This one's not new. I think I've used it twice. This is the L'Oreal Pure Clay Mask, and I think this one is to brighten. It's that, like, dark, charcoal-looking stuff. I actually liked it, though. When I tried it, I liked it. Um, I have another mask here. This is the Masked Beauty Purifying Charcoal and Diamond Facial Mask. I think I've only used that once. Um, let's see, something else from Jan Marini. This is the BioClear Face Lotion. The Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Deep Dive. This is like a face wash. I think we got that in play. Um, the Pons Rejuvenous Anti-Wrinkle Cream. Getting down to the wire here. The rest are all like serum kind of things. This is the U-Turn Anti-Aging Stem Cell Cream. Lots and lots of stuff. Um, let's see. I have two things from Life Essentials. This is the glycolic acid, and this one is the hyaluronic acid. I have the Joyal Beauty Vitamin C Serum. The Fang and Whistle Peptide Complex Serum. And lastly, the Bellafab Skin Care Super Retinol Serum right here. My desk is covered with stuff, and um, yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot of items, 50, and they're big and bulky. So, um... That's part of the reason why I want to do this. I want to get these big bulky things out of my collection. Some of them are older. Obviously, I want to get those out of my collection. Um, and I'm just trying to pare down everything. So that is what the goal is for next year. I'm hoping to get everything that I just showed you done. I will be doing quarterly updates, much like I'm going to be doing with the makeup. Um, I will be rolling some of these products into painting projects and um, use them that way. This is not in and of itself a panning project. This is just the things I want to get done and um, I will, like I said, I will do quarterly updates and let you know how I'm doing with that um, because I don't expect people to remember what I have, you know, on this list and when I slide it into a panning project, you guys aren't going to remember all that. I'm not going to remember all that. It's going to be on a spreadsheet. That's the only way I can keep track of it. So, that is my goal for the coming year. I will probably have my first update in April. That will give me time to um, really get some use on the products. I will not touch any of these until the first of the year. 
Um, just like the makeup products, I'm not going to touch those until the first week because I truly want to work on them in 2019. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you in my next video, have a beautiful day.